guys, I'm Ed Clark, and today I'm at the Mayfair studio in Chert, where we're tracking uh, guitars for Bray Rival's second album. So I thought I'd take you through what I'm using. So if Billy points the camera that away. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of chopping and changing. Um, the Riverside is getting used most of the time as my overdrive um, with various EQ settings. Then we've got two guest slots in these uh, two slots on the switcher. OCD is getting used a lot for solo tones. SP is getting there, getting used quite a lot for a bit of extra beef. We've also had Clon. We've had oh. Hudson Broadcast for a bit of extra beef. Uh, and that uh, Big Muff style thing from Tone City did get used once. Um, this is my footrest. <laughs> it was going to be a volume pedal, but um, yeah, not needed it. So it's just a footrest. I think that's pretty much it pedal wise. We've used a few weird things like Octafuzzes and got a rat up here. <laughs> Big shout out to Pedalborn for this. We did some brutal rhythm guitars by using this fuzz called the Stormcaller uh, with a uh, rat and an octaver in the loop of it. And it just sounded utterly ridiculous. Tell us about your big boxer pedal. Um, this is every pedal I've ever bought. I've never sold a pedal in my life. Um, and all my pedals are in here. So you may recognize them from previous rundowns of my rig I've done. There's just so many pedals of various different types. Oh uh, yeah, I have so many, so many. Do you, do you uh, have a problem? Uh, I, I don't have a problem, <laughs> I have a solution. Um, over here, um, the main guitars have been used, obviously Sally. Uh, if you don't know about this guitar, click the link about there, uh, with my, where I talk through what this guitar is. Plus it's got Seymour Duncan, everything accent in it. Other than that, it's like that video. Uh, I've got this strap with Custom Shop pickups in it, which hasn't been used once. I thought it would get used for some more jangly stuff, just not been needed. Uh, what has been used a lot is my PRS mirror. Um, this just gets a lot used a lot for beefier, uh, just layers really. It's never the front uh, sounding guitar, but it gets used for beefing these up. Similar with this one, this has been used for janglier stuff and again for some beefy stuff because it's quite an articulate guitar. It's a Mexican 72 Deluxe Tele. I have my slide guitar here, um, but that's not actually been used. Uh, so I won't, won't talk about that one. If we go in through here, we have amplifiers. Um, turn that off. So of course, Victory V40 Deluxe is my number one. Virtually every prominent guitar is being recorded through that. <laughs> Jason 800, I believe it's from 1972. Uh, that has been used for a lot of thickening, a lot of textures, just adding more beef, as we call it. Are you on 11? I, I am very much on 11, actually. Should we have a look? Oh. Here we have the EQ, which Tarrant has set everything to maximum. Unfortunately, our amps don't go to 11, but we've made 10 louder. <laughs> so, so our amps go to 11. Yeah. yeah. That's what you have to do with Marshall. Dime everything. Um, this is what will be used for acoustics. Oh. My Alvarez Masterworks Elite Grand Auditorium. Most beautiful sounding acoustic I've ever owned. <laughs> Love it. Haven't actually done anything with it yet, but we will be. I suppose we should mention these two. These are Tarrant. Tarrant Shepherd, our wonderful producer that makes me sound like I'm talented. Um, how, you're supposed to laugh at that. Ha! <laughs> this is a 51 pawn shop? Yes. Yeah? Uh, which is an abomination in the best possible way. Uh, that is getting used for anything low tuned, except there is one track coming up that we're going to put some absurdly low guitars on. Hence why we've got a seven string fan fret multi-scale monstrosity which you would never usually see me playing but um it's currently in drop a yes 
Proper. Um, and it's going to be featuring a song called Blame the Voices. Yeah. Uh, layering some stuff up. Do you want to explain to the people how you've mic'd the amps? Yeah, sure thing. It's really simple. Really, really simple. Uh, so I have the 57 positioned um, just to the left of the dust cap, the sort of centre of the speaker. Um, I find, obviously, the centre of the speaker or closer to the speaker you go in the centre, um, the brighter the tone is, and then the further you get to the edge, the darker the tone is. I find that, like, ring around the dust cap is just a really good starting point, and, like, 99% of the time it works 100% of the time. <laughs> um, I really don't put a 57 in another position, it just works for me. Uh, the Aston Spirit that's next to it, I did actually try this thing, which is some weird American microphone, and it sounded awful. Um, it sounded great on acoustic guitars and stuff for the last album, but not for this on a cab. So don't put, if you've seen one of those, don't put it on a guitar cab, it sucks. Um, Aston Spirit, I've not actually used it on a guitar cab before. I usually go for either an SE Voodoo, a Royer 121, or a, um, an AKG C414. The idea with having two mics, and this one is also to the uh, left of the dust cap, so it's actually a darker sounding signal as well. You can imagine the 57s are like 0 dB, and then the Aston is like 6 dB below. So it's just adding a little bit more like thickness and warmth. I hate that word. Just like bottom end, basically. Um, and a slightly different character, so nowhere near as bright. But it does give me the option later on if I go without needing to use EQ, if I'm like, oh, do I want it a little bit darker sounding, a little bit thicker, I can just sort of turn that microphone up. Uh, and then this, this is, <laughs> I, I'm using this stand, it works, I've got it in the right position, it's fine. Um, this is actually two SM57s in almost a Friedman technique thing, which is where you've got two SM57s, one straight on, one at a 45 degree angle, pointing toward the dark edge of the cone. But it's not quite 45 degrees, I haven't measured it. You can get clips that are literally perfect Friedman clips. Um, I don't have one of those, so I just sort of eyeballed it and it sounds fine. That's it, really. I don't, well, we're not gonna be miking up another cab for this album. That's what you think. Um, acoustic guitar, I think I'm gonna end up using the vocal mic for it, which is a Sontronics STC20. I think that's the name of it. Let me just check. Yes, it is. I'm probably gonna use this guy without the pop. <laughs> <laughs> that's gone. Any stereo mics on acoustics? No, I don't think so. I mean... What about the intro, all I can think about? Well, yeah, all I can think about is that that's a, a whole thing. You see, we might be recording that in a different room, or we might be doing what we're going to do with stars. Okay. Yeah. So with stars upon my scars, we're going to record the solos here. Then we're going to um, the place where we did the drums for the album, Thirteen Sound. Uh, we're recording keys and strings there in a couple of weeks. I'm going to play the guitar solo back through the room, like comped guitar solos, and the end of the album. Hopefully, what you will hear will be the sound of a guitar solo in a room, like just Ed alone in a room, but it's actually recorded in two different spaces on two different days. Yeah. So Unless yeah. that sounds terrible, in which case you won't be here. In which case it won't be that, it'll be some <laughs> kind of fake reverb or something. I think, um, it was that cool. I think the acoustic guitar, I'm gonna do the same thing for okay. all I can think about to get that roomy vibe. Like that it's that. a bit more organic. I could use a fake reverb, but like, it's nowhere near as fun. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, plenty of fake reverb on the album, trust me, but like, not on the drums. At least I don't think there will be on the drums. There's plenty of fake there's reverb. There's also plenty, plenty of very reverb. There's reverb. plenty of reverb, yeah. So it's it's cool though. I like doing that because it's like it gives that album a sense of space and identity. Like there's a physical room in which it was captured. Mm. So I quite like doing that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe for more. Make sure you've got the bell icon ticked so you're notified of new videos. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>